Hey, paper crafters. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love that you took the time to pop by my channel, check out the video that I've got going, and hopefully stay and poke around a little bit. I'm really excited to be able to offer some videos now and then and share my love of paper crafting. So I hope you find something that you enjoy and come back to see me another time. Bye-bye. Hey, paper crafting friends. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's video is gonna feature the October 2021 Kiwi Club kit called Tell Your Story. I've had a lot of people reach out to me wanting some ideas with this kit, and I haven't played with it a lot myself yet. Um, I will tell you that I was drawn more to like the floral pieces than like the real active print for this particular page. So, I would say this one is probably the more um, dominant print, but then there was this really beautiful, sorry, I've been, I've been playing with this one, so stuff's kind of all over. Um, so there's this floral that I'm definitely gonna play with some more. But what I ended up doing so far is just my October calendar page. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that one with you. Remember, this kit is the one that came with um, this kind of square framed template, came with the owl, uh, a little pocket, a little corner, and then a couple of journaling pieces. So let me show you what I did for the, the calendar page or the single page layout, depending on how you wanna look at it. And then I'll show you the templates that I used to put this one together, okay? So here's the layout, and this one's gonna hold three photos. So I've got a four by six here, and then two three by fours. And then I just pulled a couple of different things together. For this border up at the top, I used Cedar Trails 2A. And I just traced this a little bit up from the bottom edge of the paper. And you'll see that I ended up using the scrap that would have been like this little bit um, for the lower part of this calendar page. For these little medallions here, um, I used a circle punch for that background piece and then a scalloped punch in just a little bit smaller size to be the center of those and I just popped them up a little bit. So pretty easy to make a fun little accent with this border and just a, a couple of circular shapes. As far as the tree, this particular template came from an older club kit. So this is trees two and trees five. And I just really like the way they look with the actual tree um, and branch structure over top of the background of the tree. So I did it that way. That darling owl template um, came in this club kit for this October kit and it's just such a sweet little owl um, The way that it's made you can use the little hole in the wing here To trace uh, your wing on a different piece of paper and then I did the same thing with the eyes I just traced around um, To make the little face there and for the eyes themselves I just colored those in with a sharpie and then I cut the nose out of a complementary color so my little owl's just hanging out in the top of the tree. I love this new photo corner. This came from this story set of templates, and this is story two, and I just like the little curve on it. So I wanted to get a couple of those. I don't feel like you have to put a photo corner on every corner. Um, they're meant to be an accent, so I just did those. And then there was this little template included in the kit. Um, this was story one, and it's, it's intended to be a way to put the date on your pages. Um, for me, I was able to find a little saying that I liked on one of the sentiment cards, and I just used this template for me to trace it. So this says, celebrate your life and the story you are creating. So that is the one that I used there. All right, so that's really how this one came together. I do want to show you the lower part of this, just in case you're somebody who also likes to do calendars. Of course, this is a single page layout perfectly fine by itself. 
If you like double page layouts, easy enough to continue this pattern along on another page, add more photo mats, maybe throw another tree in there, and you're ready, right? So you can always take people's ideas and expand them pretty easily on your own. Here's the bottom section. Okay, so here's my scrap um, from tracing uh, that Cedar Trails. Went ahead and just did a straight cut along there. I did a little strip of that really fun triangular paper for an accent. And then I used Story 4 to uh, trace this sentiment card. It says, we are made of stories. It's got that great tree on it. That's, that's what reminded me about those other templates. And then I just made it slightly bigger um, to kind of be able to mat that. So I'll show you what that looks like all in one, starting here at the top. And then if you want a full view of it, it goes on like that. So I'm excited with how this turned out and with the colors and the way it came together. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little challenged by this kit when I first went to play with it. Um, I was having a hard time kind of figuring out what patterns I wanted to use and how I was gonna make it all come together. I have seen some people using um, it to really document stories um, or story time, like with their kiddos, and that seems to be a real natural fit for it. So I'm really curious what you've done with yours. If you want to leave me a comment, that would be amazing because I'd love to hear what other people are doing. Um, I will work on a layout with this eventually and I'll share that when I do. Uh, but for now, this is all I've gotten done with this particular kit. So I hope that you're doing well and being creative, whatever you're up to. And I hope I see you on my channel again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>